What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Tom here with my buddy Storm. Today we're gonna do single leg takedown counters. Who else is better to do this with me than Storm? Storm has years of judo experience. He recently dislocated someone's shoulder at the Nogi Advanced Division grappling tournament. Uh, but today I'm gonna throw him, or at least give it a try. Let's get to it. Lewis. Okay guys, so short disclaimer before we get into the, uh, the, the wrestling stuff, the single legs, we're not a wrestling channel. I would advise you if you want to go deep into proper single legs, double legs, watch some wrestling counters, but Jiu Jitsu, we gotta watch out for some counter submissions, we gotta be aware of some different stuff than wrestlers, let's just get to it. So Storm shoots in for a single leg. Um, the first few things, we're gonna capitalize on him leaving too much space, yeah? Later on he wouldn't make the mistakes, so as we go into the video, we'll be tighter and tighter. So for the first one, now Storm has a proper grip on both my upper leg, my lower leg, he has good head positioning, his, his face isn't too low, etc. Now if his face would be a bit lower, one of the things I should do is frame on his head, I shouldn't post on his neck. If I post on the neck, he will just get a skull back. So all the way, stiff arming the head. Now I cannot retract my leg, so I put my knee down to the mat as I turn my hip in, boom, and then kick away for a running man-like escape. Once again, he shoots in, my first reaction, boom, frame the head, dip my knee, get out, and reset. Once again, you need some space to do this, you have to be fast and capitalize on his mistakes. Second one, same thing applies. Getting him guillotined here, it's very hard, if I wanna get his head to the opposite side, it's not gonna let me do that. What I wanna do is I wanna lean in all the way across Storm, Reach in for the space he gives me here for a Kimura grip, yeah? I capitalize on his mistake going in, controlling his wrist, and now sitting down and do a sumageshi takedown. Let's turn a little bit so we can throw some without going off camera. So I control the Kimura grip here, yeah? I sit down, sumageshi, and keep control of the Kimura. If Storm wants to get the top position, I'll go under, start attacking for the arm here. So as we are capitalizing on his space and mistakes here, um, Storm keeps everything tight. So one of the things I want to do here is to get into a uh, form of judo throw. Now, I'm going to use this hand to get a tight overhook. Now, first off, I just take this wizard here, the close side. If Storm keeps all the space tight, I won't go deep with my overhook. It doesn't matter. If he steps towards my back, he himself will walk into the overhook. So I just get the wizard in. From there on, I control the second arm around the elbow here. And now I can either get my leg on one side of his leg or on the far side hip, depending on his stance. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the second arm, yeah, kick my leg to the mat and start throwing in with Uchimata throw. So here, get in, yeah, and throw to get him to the mat. Now, I'm not good at judo, Storm's way better at that, and he's taller than me, so what I would do in, in reality, going with Storm or someone taller, as I would get the same wizard, I would do the same thing, but now we will fake the Uchimada and just bump his knee out as I go for an ankle pick, throw him off and start passing or entering full leg looks. So these are a few options we can do to use judo to throw the other guy, but still we need some space to get the legs out. Another one I could do, let's go a bit towards the camera, is if he doesn't control my heel, so we're once again capitalizing his mistake, if he doesn't control my heel, I will lean in, get a body lock, pull my leg out, and if I want to sprawl now, my hamstring isn't strong enough. So I'll kick my foot towards the mat, and then I'll sprawl out, get a front headlock, uh, sprawl position here. Okay, so those were some throws. Now let's look at what happens if my opponent has super tight control, and I'm about to get smashed. So one of the things that I like to do, uh, I've hit this in competition a few times, is mix it up with Kani Basami. Now I would warn you here to train this under safe circumstances with someone experienced, yeah? And I wouldn't recommend doing this if someone immediately goes for a single leg because you might injure your opponent or your partner. But we have a video on the Kani Basami if you want to train in a safe way. So in this case, the best thing would still be the overhook or the wizard because if I control over and grab his lat, Storm can go to my back. He will just tuck his chin and work towards my back. Nonetheless, if you want to practice, it's a good way to lean a bit on your opponent. Uh, and as I told you, I've done this in, in competition and it works by just leaning on. Now I don't want to fall on his knee. What I want to do is I want to circle my leg behind him. And now he has my leg trapped, but I also have one leg inside the 411 position or the saddle to Kani Basami him. This leg goes backward. I'm going to base. I'm going to stay high. As I Kani Basami him to the floor, I either get straight into my leg locks or I cut my shin, base, lift, and get top position and start attacking him. But more on that in the Kani Basami video. And the final one, which I think is the, the safest, he has my leg, I don't want him to go to the back. So same thing goes, I get this wizard in, and I want to beat him to the hat positioning. 
So he keeps his head high and strong. If I want to get my head in between, it's going to be very hard. So what I do is I'm going to frame on a skull. I'm going to keep this leg away, squat down, and put the top of my head with all my spine in one diagonal line towards the side of his head. So we frame, I go down, and get my head in between here. Now I ask Storm to put head pressure back, try to get his head back on my chest, here. Grab the arm, pommel it out, and now I can either disengage and just start strike, standing back up again, or I can go to mat returns, try to get him back to the mat, or to get an infinite flow, he goes in, head positioning, pommel, and I get up with my own single leg. And then we can go infinite. So there you have it, guys. A jujitsu perspective on single leg takedown counters using judo, capitalizing on mistakes, using submission grips, using wrestling, and using Kanibasami takedowns. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. See you next video. Ooh.